The dumping of illegal aliens into Texas and Arizona continues to grow and is reaching a boiling point, with Texas seeming to be the point of preference for illegals. We're joined by my old colleague, Congressman Ted Poe, Republican congressman from the great state of Texas, joining us from Newsmax, New York. Judge, it is so good to have you with us today. Well, it's great to talk to you as well, J.D. Uh, I call you judge if the viewers don't know. You were on the bench, but when you had the urge to legislate, you ran for the U.S. House, showing incredible That's knowledge of the Constitution, and we appreciate that. Well, thank you. That's correct. I was on the Texas bench for 22 years and then ran for Congress. and uh, uh, So two different careers, but I have enjoyed them both. Well, we would press you into service as an eyewitness, Ted. Give us the latest from the ground. What are you seeing in Texas? And have you heard anything from the White House when it comes to the number of illegals, especially uh, illegal kids uh, showing up on the doorstep of this country on the Texas border? Well, what is occurring is uh, thousands and thousands of children are crossing into the United States uh, illegally. Many of them are from Central America. Why the influx all of a sudden? is because they are told either by their parents or by others that you get to the United States, the United States will let you in, they will eventually give you legal status. Once you obtain that legal status, then we as a family will also come into the United States. That is what's, what is occurring. Plus, some that have family in the United States already, maybe illegally, Cross, the children will cross in the United States. Once again, our government uh, rescues them, gives them legal status, and then those people illegally in the United States will then try to seek legal status through that child. Why is this happening? Is because the administration has sent out a signal to uh, foreign nationals that if you get to the United States, uh, we won't have, there won't be any consequences. You won't be deported, especially if you're a child. We will try to take care of you and reunite you with your parents. Congressman Ted Poe, we made mention of the fact that you are a jurist. You were on the uh, on the Texas bench. Obviously, you're a man trained in the law. We are hearing now that the Justice Department is going to supply these illegal alien children with attorneys. So it would seem that uh, the administration is going the extra mile to put out the unauthorized welcome mat. Well, of course, the administration is the kids that cross into the United States and, and set aside the humanitarian issue about what to do with them and the conditions that they come across. They're still deportable when they come into the United States. And our policy has always been that that law would be enforced, that they will be deportable and they would eventually be sent back to whatever nation they came from. The message coming out of the White House is, ah, not so fast about that. Uh, maybe they'll be able to stay, at least they believe they will, and so far thousands and thousands are crossing and they're still here. They're being put in different areas of the United States. Uh, and so we're gonna continue to have this problem until the federal government goes back to the basics, this administration specifically, enforce the law, enforce the rule of law, whether it's on the border or whether there's some other law and this is gonna continue. They'll be getting lawyers. They'll be, of course, being housed. Uh, all of this because the rule of law is not being enforced and then the taxpayers, American taxpayers, are gonna to have to put the bill for this. Long term, the issue is, are they gonna stay? Are they gonna be able to keep their parents or get their parents here to the United States once they reach some type of legal status given to them by this administration? Ted Poe, a decade ago, you and I were in the trenches together on Capitol Hill fighting this battle. To be fair about it, there was a Republican president at that point in time. And while you mentioned the current administration, there is also, I believe it's fair to say, a, a, a pretty strong division within the House Republican conference, within the House majority. For example, uh, your colleague, my former colleague, now the House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, faces a very tough primary this coming Tuesday. Uh, he was on television in his hometown and in his congressional district of Richmond, WTVR, and he talked about, uh, for lack of a better term, the politics of immigration. Let's take a listen. 
First of all, in Congress, you know, the Senate passed a comprehensive amnesty bill. Um, as Majority Leader, I have said that I will not bring that amnesty bill up for a vote on the House floor. Uh, but I have told the President that there are some things that we can work on together. We could work on the border security bill together. We could work on things like the kids. But so far, the President has just insisted it's all or nothing my way or the highway, and that's not going to happen. Now, Ted, you and I are used to the ways of Washington. While Congressman Cantor is the leader, may not want to see the, the Gang of Eight amnesty bill, the Senate bill on the floor, if anything moves along uh, when two sides come to conference, it's still conceivable that Senate bill could pass, but we did hear the leader touch on the children. I guess when all is said and done, and this is not so much about Eric Cantor's primary on Tuesday, we don't need to get into personalities in terms of the bottom line on policy. Do you expect the House Republican leadership to try and move some sort of immigration reform this year, despite the leader talking about all the problems he has currently with President Obama? I can't answer that question because I really don't know. I don't make that decision. I do serve on the Judiciary Committee. The Judiciary Committee is trying to uh, take each problem and then come up with a solution. And we've passed some legislation out of the Judiciary Committee, of course, starting with the uh, border security bill, Mike McCall's bill. Uh, we've stopped uh, addressing other legislation because of the uncertainty about the current law not being enforced. And the thought is, among many members, and I think the Speaker, why work to fix problems when those problems, if we fix them, whatever the solution is, are not going to be enforced by the administration. This is another example. Uh, we're talking about the, the, the kids that are crossing into the United States hoping to get some form of amnesty. I do believe the, the House has the responsibility, since the Republicans are in leadership, to fix the broken problems on immigration, but we have to start with the basics, and it's still the same basic that it was, J.D., when you were in Congress, that the border is not secure, and those that say that it is are absolutely wrong. Go with me to the Texas-Mexico border. I'll and as a matter of fact, Ted Poe, cross. as a matter of fact, we're going to stay with you or have you stay with us. We're going to pause for a second, come back, talk more about these vexing challenges of a failure to enforce immigration law and really secure our borders. That's ahead. More with Congressman Ted Poe here on America's Forum. So stay tuned.